if you remember this. If you didn't have me in 243, you don't remember this, and that's totally fine. This was a little group called Grand the Report of Gen, which was very, very slick. They did a series of, of flags around the world, and they linked up statistics that they had gathered about individual countries and tied them to the flags of the countries. We looked at Brazil and China in our, in our class in 243, and their other ones exist. There's also one for Somalia. There's also one for, there's a terrible one about genital mutilation for one of the countries. I didn't want to drop that one on you guys this early in the morning. But I love this one. I love this one. This was, this was taken, this is about 10 years old now. This is going back about 10 years. And this was, the idea of this one was to highlight two interesting things about the war in Iraq, when the war in Iraq was at its, was at its I guess it was the beginning of the war in Iraq when this came out. What two things are we showing with this, with this, beautiful, this beautiful illustration of statistics? I'll give you one of two things this is showing. Go ahead, be brave. What's it showing you? Why, do you, why did you laugh when I put it up? It's a lot of people Boom! That's one thing that it shows. A lot of people. Any idea what percent, that, what percent of that flag is blue? Guess, guess to me. Like 25. Damn close, it's 19.7%. I actually calculated using some geometry because I'm a dork. Sorry. Yeah, he's a fucking dork. So 19.7% is the blue, is the blue. What else does it show? in favor and against the war. Are basically polarized, yes? Basically a polarized view of being in favor or against the war. Now I, it, Jack? Go ahead. No, no, you go, you go, you go. Well, how does that correlate between the people that don't know where it is? I don't know. That, see, I, they're not mutually exclusive, friend. They're not mutually exclusive, which means somebody that's in the blue could also be in the white or the red. So it, it's just, and this is, this is a function of the data mining they did to do the, the, to, to do the actual study. They just looked at the percentages they had available and looked at the colors on the flag and found ones that match. And it just so happens these happen to match up really, really nicely. They're not exclusive, Frank. It's not an ABC. <coughs> it's in favor or opposed, and then as a, as a sideshow, here's the ones that can't find it. It's almost it, like yes, no, I don't know. It, it kind, kind of, or color. yes, no, what's your favorite color? Right. <laughs> you, 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 honestly, honestly, it's more like that, because you don't have to, you don't have to preclude answering one because you answered another way. They're Does that make sense? They're assuming that if you don't know where Iraq is, you probably don't have an opinion on the war. That's possible, but it's not indicated by this diagram. It's not. There's, there's no correlation indicated. Go ahead, Jack. Are the red and the white then equal to 100%? Well, the red and the white are equal roughly to each other, not to 100%. Well. Which means there's a third category they're not, if they're not reporting on this, that the, the choose not to respond. You see what I'm getting at, Jack? The, the, what they've done is they've showed you statistics that match. The red and white essentially are equal to each other, and since the blue is about 20%, they're each what? About 40. That adds up to 100. The other 20% of the do not reply just aren't indicated on the map. That's all. That's all. Don't read too far into it. They've selectively shown you, well, in other words, they also haven't shown you the ones that could find Iraq, which would be the red and the white added together. But that wouldn't be as clever, would it? That wouldn't be clever as showing the ones that can't find Iraq. You see, it's there's always the marketing going on here, even though they gave this away for free. There was nothing to do. So, you ready? Let's test us. Here we go. Find Iraq. Don't put your phones down. Put your phones down. Do not talk to each other. Find Iraq. This is not designed to make anybody feel dumb. This is not, don't you dare. This is not, Michael, designed to make anybody feel dumb. It's only designed to collect some data. That's all it is, is to collect some data. That's all I want to do. There's the world. Find Iraq. There it is. <laughs> all right. You got an idea where it is? OK, good. Who wants to come up and point to it? Or use a laser pointer to point to it. We can do that too. Christian, you want to do it eventually go on. That was just a stretch. You want it? Go for it, brother. Where's the laser? I think it's the red button, I think, or the yellow button. We got it? Okay, now let's collect some data. Thank you, Chris. Let's collect some data. I want to test the claim. I want to test the claim that, that grand report. Can you mind throwing the, uh, throwing the lights on back there? Thank you. Real quick, this is a real quick test. You don't have to do all this in writing if you don't want to. We're going to test the claim that your guys' proportion <coughs> of those who can't find. Iraq. That's what they tested, right? 19.7%. I want to see if you guys are any different. 
than, it, than whoever, whoever they surveyed. But I don't know who it was. They never gave me their, their sampling methodology or anything else. I just want to see if it's different. Okay, so let's get rid of all this. Get rid of all this. Let's get down to just hypotheses. Step four. We'll do. We'll do this verbally. We want all this stuff for sure. What was the actual wording? Can't find Iraq on a map, on a map. or don't know where it is. Because I think of don't know where it is as they don't even know it's in the like don't know where Iraq is area. Oh, I see what you're saying. I think like, a lot of people like, could like say, they would oh, say, oh, it's Australia. Australia. Right. As or, opposed to, I know it's somewhere on the Persian right, Gulf. Right. Right. That's good. That's it. and see what you're doing right there. You're asking the question about like the 121 right. and the 402. Because I would be surprised if the number was much higher. Absolutely. Like people, I can't actually point to the specific to country. The specific country. That's very good. But then how would you measure where it is? Like, if you say Saudi Arabia, is that close enough? If you say Asia, is that close yeah. enough? If you say Europe, is that kind of excusable because it's kind of touching? I mean, I, that's where it gets. Let's just. Can you find it on a map? Right. Let's define it for us that way. Is that okay? Yeah. That's good though. I had never considered that before. If you're more specific, you might have a higher failure rate. Yeah, I, I don't think so. That's no, good. I, I like that. That's very That's good. I hadn't thought about that. Good sampling methodologies. Two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, ten, eleven, twelve, thirteen, fourteen, fifteen, sixteen, seventeen, eighteen, nineteen, twenty. That's nice. We've got an N of twenty. Now be honest. How many of you couldn't find Iraq? Couldn't. There we go. One, two, three. <laughs> That's totally fine. Three and twenty is fifteen percent, correct? That's fifteen percent. We got a p hat value, fifteen percent. Is fifteen percent significantly different than the proportion in the general population that couldn't find it, which was nineteen point seven percent? I mean, it's less than, isn't it? It is less. Should we just test less than to see if we, if we as a as a whole, are less than nineteen point seven, or do we, do we do a two tails? Your guys call. Your guys call. Less than. Do, do it less than? Less burden of proof. Well, it's had enough. It's like, the hell with this. Less burden of proof, I'm out of here. <laughs> shall we? Yes, I think we shall. I think we shall. Oh, you're over here. Back here, yeah, so be. All right, here we go. P hat 0.197. Successes, in this case, successes can't find Iraq, but that's what we're testing. That's the variable we're testing. 3 in 20, our P hat then becomes 15%. That's nice. We're trying to see if we, since we came in under 19.7, is it significantly less than 19.7, or is it just coincidentally less? Shall we? Here's 19.7, there's 19.7, here's us. Is that significantly less than 19.7? We can't make that call, can we? We can't make that call because it's within the confidence interval of 19.7. And the only reason, this goes back to Kaylee's question you asked about an hour ago, if there were more of us hitting 15%, could we make it significant? Hells yeah. If we had 1,000 people hitting 15% versus 19.7%, it would be significant. But with only 20, the margin of error is so wide, we're on this fat wide curve, not the tall skinny curve. So 15% is too close. Even though it's almost five percentage points different, which is outside of most margins of error, most margins of error are constructed on 1,000 size samples, not 20 size samples. 20 size samples, they wind up. You know what you're talking about? Base. Have you had enough today? Base. It looks like your brain's full. It's time to get you out of here. I forgot maps. I usually like to leave you guys, and I'll, I'll remember on Tuesday, I have a little map with the world on it, like I just showed you, and a tally on the back, correct, wrong, and I like to ask you guys to ask your friends to find Iraq and keep track of who does what, and then collate it and see what, what the overall population looks like. I'll bring them on Tuesday for you guys instead. Or we'll make that a quiz! I like that even better. Make it a quiz, and you get points for it. Oh, that's good. I can harass my customers. Yes, you can. <laughs> That's a good convenient sample. I like that. Literally a convenient sample. Yes. Or you good. can make a purchase. You're going to make a purchase. Find <laughs> Iraq on the map. Let's see, and we'll check. We'll track your sales. Love see if they go down. If you find a way, we'll <laughs> So, friends, for next time, can you bring questions on where the next homework assignment is? I think it's called uh, hypothesis testing a population proportion, which is essentially everything we just did, but just more of it. Just ways to look at more, more just different data, basically. Cool?
And keep an eye. Look at how the templates are set up in the book versus how we did it in class. Let me know which one you like better, and I'll rewrite them accordingly. It's just a matter of getting there and changing it. Have the Halloween? Yeah. I have to add that Max's shirt. Well, good. Because well, it was his kid's shirt. Yeah. Good, you got both. I said that Max's shirt. No, this was a good little purchase. I just wanted to double the pants and the boots. I thought for sure it was Max. No. Those people asked me about pants. Boots? Yeah. Doc Martin for five bucks. Mm -hmm. I've got three pairs of Doc Martin just down for five dollars a pop. And who will? I remember in the 90s paying like 110 for Doc Martin. I know. In the 90s. And, and I think they're still about that much. Oh, they're more now. Well, of course, inflation. Yeah. But I mean, to, people in Ben don't seem to realize that they're actually really nice shoes. Like, yeah. I have this amazing pair of like the shoes. shoes. Oh, dude, they're fantastic. Oh, they were awesome. They There's were a band awesome. called the Bouncing Souls from Jersey. They named themselves because of the with Bouncing That's Souls. That's what they're named after. Yeah. My one of my best friends, Ethan from Boarding School, Big Brother, is in my band. Which one? Which guy? I have no idea. Greg, Brian, I'm going to play them later on the, tomorrow. Oh, really? That they're going to play at Gainesville, too. Oh, that's totally awesome. awesome. They have a new drummer. I love that. All our music stars are playing with them now. Oh, a bunch of dudes. I wonder if it was the drummer. Chow? Could have been Chow. I love Chow. I, I miss him.